Okay. What I am going to show you may not make much sense in the beginning, but it is going to make so much sense if you stay tuned and focus to what I am trying to say to you. It is going to make so much sense. So much. When some people hear that you are going to reap whatever you sow. Now, many people know what that means. They know that when they do wrong, <clears throat> When they do wrong, wrong things are going to come back to them. Some people know that. But people are very disconnected. They can't really connect their sins with their punishments. When they do get punished by God, they may say, well, this is due to bad luck or bad things always happen to people anyways. So they believe that it is a coincidence. Nothing is ever a coincidence. Let's take this glass here. Okay, let's say that this glass here is how much grace, how much patience God has for you. As you can see here, this glass here is empty. If you fill the glass up with your sins all the way to the top, then God is going to punish you because as you can see here, you are with an empty glass. So this glass is full of God's patience, his grace for you. But the more you fill it, the less patience he is going to have for you. Make sense? Okay. Let's say that you steal something that is a sin right so let's place some water into this glass because that is a sin stealing is a sin as you may know let's say that hey you are young or middle age or whatever and you say well I don't believe in marriage let me just have sex with whomever I want to have sex with Fornication or having sex with someone's spouse is a sin, as you may know. Adultery is a sin. So, okay, here we go. Let's say you like to backstab people. You are just a backstabbing person. <laughs> that is a sin, okay. Let's say that you like to cheat people. You just want to cheat people out of their money because life is all about you and your wants, okay? <laughs> Let's say that you do other sins that fills your glass all the way to the top here. So as you can see here, I don't want to fill it all the way to the top because I may spill it. So, <laughs> okay, your glass is all the way filled. So the more you fill your glass, the less patience God is going to have for you. So now your glass is filled. Okay, now it is time for punishment. So you wonder why... <clears throat> So many bad things are happening to you at one time. You wonder why out of nowhere, something crazy, something bad has happened to you. And it seems like it happened out of nowhere. 
the more I research about God, the more I pray about God, the more I understand about God, I know that this one thing is true. I don't know how to say it, but there have to be a balance to everything. If you are constantly doing good for a person, constantly, 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 that have to balance off. So if you are constantly doing good for a person, good things have to come your way. It have to come your way because there have to be a balance. There has to be a balance. Nothing can be one-sided. What can I use? <laughs> Let me use my fingers. Nothing can be like this. No, it may be this way for a while, but it have to balance off. If you are doing wrong, it have to balance off. So wrong by right have to come your way. It have to because it has to balance off. God is a God of balance. Things are not going to be this way. Kevin, I am always helping people. You know, no one appreciates me. I am always doing this and that for people and no one doing things for me. It have to balance off. Good have to come back to you. It have to. Even if you don't see it, it does not matter if you see it or not. Good things have came or is coming your way. It have to. Because you can't, no, it can't be like this. It can't. It can't stay this way. Whether you are doing wrong or right, it have to balance off. So once you fill this glass here, now it is time for you to reap all the bad things that you have been filling your glass with. It is time to reap. Many people don't understand that. They say they understand the concept of reaping and sowing, but they really don't understand because they are still choosing to do wrong. Well, Kevin, you know, this sin is really small. It does not matter because you are still filling your glass up. You have to pay. My Lord, let's say that you reap all these bad things come back upon you. Okay. Now your glass... Ah, oh, my Lord. <laughs> now your glass goes back empty again. Now, here is God's patience now. It is back at 100% now. But don't you know that there are people that continue to fill their glass over and over and over again all throughout their lives, wondering why bad things continue to happen to them. God does have grace for us. God does have patience for us. But once you fill the top, it is time to get punished. And once you get punished all the way, your glass goes back empty again. And if you are Hmm, what word can I use without saying <laughs> what I was going to say? Your glass is going to go back empty again. And if you are crazy enough, continue to fill your glass over and over and over again. Now, what you may say, let's say that there is a person that serves God. 
And even with people that serve God, yes, sometimes, every so often, not as much as a sinner, but sometimes they do wrong things. Yes, of course. So let's say that this man or woman of God sins. Let's say they have the wrong thought about a person or they say mean things to a person or whatever. Let's say that their glass is about right here. Now, as long as they can keep their the water level down here and not fill the way, I would say even if a person don't sin often, I believe that after years or so, they may fill the top every so often. Whether you sin or whether you serve God or you are doing your own thing, if you fill the top, it is time for you to get punished. And it is no surprise. There have to be a balance. So I pray that this makes sense. And once you get done reaping everything you have placed in this glass, then it goes back empty and then you start all over again. And some people, as I stated before, as I stated before, some people continue to fill their glass over and over and over again, not learning their lesson. And what people do too, when they fill their glass over and over and over again, they blame other people. Well, you know, if my mother did not talk to me in this way, or if I had my dad at home, or if this did not happen to me when I was young, you know, life would be good to me. But your glass is being filled based upon what you are doing, saying, and thinking. So how long are you going to blame your mother, your father, your niece, and nephews, and how long are you going to blame other people for the mistakes that you are doing now? Yes, what happened to you in the past was wrong. But you can change the way that you are now. You don't have to continue being rude and being sinful. How long are you going to say, I am this way, you are in your 30s and 40s and whatever, and whatever happened to you happened when you was young, how long are you going to continue to use that excuse? Once you die, are you going to tell God, hey, my parents treated me wrongly, and this is why I did not fully obey you, God. What do you believe God is going to say to you? Depart from me. You have control over what you do now. You don't have to let the bad things that happened to you to control the way that you are now. Stop blaming people for what happened to you and change yourself. Take responsibility, responsibility of your actions now. I could do the same thing. I could mess up in life and blame other people for it, but that is foolish. It is time to grow up does not matter how old you are, it is time to grow up. It is their fault. No, it is your fault. The way that you are now is your fault. Because you can't expect to live in this cursed world 
and believe that no bad thing is going to come your way. Bad things are happening to everyone. But this world teaches you to be self-centered. Life is about you and how you feel and how people make you feel or in whatever else. And you are pretty much mostly worried about yourself. Self-centered. You think about all the bad things that happened to you, not really focusing on other people, but yourself. You are self-centered. You are selfish. It is true. You know, I am not trying to make you mad, but hey, someone have to tell you the truth. I don't... <laughs> I don't have to have friends. <laughs> Let's say that I live until I am 80. That is a very short time to be on this earth. If I don't get any friends, so be it. I don't care. But you need to hear this truth. Stop blaming people. There are older people. People in their 30s, 40s, 50s, so on and so on, still blaming others for where they are in life now. Like I said, how long are you going to blame your brothers and your sisters and your parents? How long? Makes no sense. Blaming people gives you comfort. It gives you an excuse to be the way that you are now, to not change. It is your fault that you are not changed now because everyone goes through traumatizing things. I have been traumatized. I went through crazy stuff. I have spoke to other people that have been through crazy things. So what makes you different from everyone else? Think about that. What makes your pain more potent or more overwhelming than what other people have gone through? I have went through some crazy stuff. This is the why I serve God, because I know if I... If I be silly and continue to fill my glass over and over and over again, I know that it is going to hurt me a lot more. So I wised up and I am not the way that I was before because I found out that <laughs> from what I was doing and from what I was receiving in punishments, it was not worth it because what I gained, it was not worth it because I lost almost everything I gained when I was doing sin. So if I am going to lose what I gained, what is the point in doing those bad things? I believe people want extra money, but if you are doing it in the wrong way, you are going to lose. Why? Because your cup is going to continue to fill up and there have to be a balance. You making your money in the wrong way, God is going to balance everything off. This is one of many reasons why I changed because there was no point to continue to do wrong because I was losing. I should want to gain. Ever since I have been serving God, yes, I go through issues and, you know, stuff like that. But ever since I have been serving God, my life, my quality of life have gotten 
much better. I am not rich or I don't have like three cars and gold rings on my fingers and stuff like that. No. But my quality of life, I have peace. So many people don't have peace. It is shocking. Some people may not even know what peace is. Like actually had peace in their life. That is horrible. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense. Don't continue to fill up your glass. If you do, this is why bad things are happening to you. Some people say, why does God allow babies to be killed? Or why does God allow many people to die? <laughs> when a country or city or whatever else continues to sin, 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 their glass is going to be filled. So punishment have to come. Why? There have to be a balance. God is king. He is the ruler of all. If we choose to not obey him, what is going to catch our attention quicker than anything else? Punishment. Catches our attention quick. But there are some people that knowingly they are fighting against God. It makes no sense. You can't beat up God. You can't overthrow God. Whether you like God or not, let's say that you hate God. What is the point? Let's say that you hate God's guts. I don't think God has guts, but let's say that you hate God, everything of God. Okay, but he has authority and power over you. So why continue to fight against him when nothing is going to change? Just more bad things are going to happen to you. Let's say you blame God for you being raped and molested and whatever else. So you are just going to go in witchcraft or Satanism or in the occult trying to fight against God? Makes no sense. If you can't overthrow God, if you can't even pinch God, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you rebelling against God? It makes no sense. If Satan is more powerful than you, if Satan can't overthrow God, if Satan is ruled by God and he can't beat God, what chance do you have? But you are serving, you are serving a being that has no power over God. But you believe that somehow Satan is going to overthrow God. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. So you blame God for the bad things that happened to you molestation, rape, whatever else. So now you are going against God, serving a person that can't overthrow God, and you are helping him, Satan, curse other humans, and you believe that you can do all of those bad things 
constantly fill your cup and you believe that no punishment or no bad thing is going to come your way. That is foolishness. You can't win. Back when I was in sin, I did not like the rules and regulations of God. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. But, hey, bad things continue to happen to me. So I had to change. Unless I wanted to continue to lose. Let me say this too. This is a very good point here. When I was in deep sin, I was always sick. It did not matter how many times I worked out. It did not matter the food I ate and I would jog and stuff for an hour or more, you know, really good shape and stuff like that. I was the sickest. I was the sickest. But the more I started to obey God and do what I have to do toward God, my health returned to me. That is no coincidence. I don't even do a quarter of the healthy things that I did back then. Not even this much. <laughs> but I am more healthy than I ever have been because I used to my Lord, so many things. I used to be so sick. It is your choice. What do you want to do? It is your choice. So I pray that this makes sense. And I really try to make this understandable. If you are confused about anything that I said, you know, you can comment to me, but I don't know how clear or how more clear I can get than what I have been. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.